Eyes closed and dreams go free Got an angel next to me Hold me close so I can breathe Let me go so I can't live Where do we go from here? Take me far away So we can stop the time Captain Rio, we got him on the run! Captain Rio! Where do we go from here? Take me far away so we can stop the time And love will take its place It will be tonight when I Turn off the world for you It will be tonight when I Turn off the stars for you It will be tonight when I Turn off the world for you it will be tonight when I turn up the stars, I turn up the stars for you. Rewind, forget your past. All right, namaste and like catch my family, and welcome to another morning coffee with Rion. We have a special guest today. It's a surprise. My brother, Mr. Styles, shall be joining us on our broadcast. How are you guys doing out there? You guys having fun? All right, all right. Can you guys hear me all right? Making sure everything's fire. I got some really awesome updates for us, so... Just want to make sure everything's fantastic out there. Um, what up? What up? Maybe a little more channeling, a little less jokes, but listen, we have fun out there across planet Earth. want to say what up to my huge family, my Texas family, everyone out there. You know, um, I watched this movie. Let's go. The Veda flavor, baby. Listen, listen, the Veda flavor. All right. So what's going on? We do have... Um, we're all, we're we're getting uh, to almost sold out right now. We do have some tickets that became available, so we want to make sure you guys know about this. Again, if you guys don't know about the bass drop thing, uh, my brother Jason's gonna come on and explain. We do our raffles, and he's like, "Let's raffle off like ten thousand dollars worth of product." So. Uh, my brother will be on here to talk about this. Our raffle may be like the greatest thing that you ever did. You're like, I spent $5 and I won a $2,000 Taurus. I don't know, but that's a potential. So we, it's a catered event. If you guys want to share this video out to people, here's what I'm feeling in my tum tum. We checked all the events happening in Texas and around that area. And as far as the spirituality and as far as like what we're bringing to the table, you know, it's not a music festival. Um, our event is awesome. I can't explain. We rented out the entire convention center. So what does this uh, ticket get you? It's a two day catered event. You guys get uh, food two days, um, food on Sunday, food on Monday. Um, we have live DJs, uh, Mr. David Palmer, Leo King, uh, will be DJing for us on a Sunday night. We'll see about Monday, how we feel after the eclipse. But we also have the number one sound bowl healer, or uh, I would say healer. And I have a video I filmed with him. Um, my brother, he's going to um, do all of our sound bowl healing while uh, the event is going on. So it's just really awesome. Um, B. Lewis, Mr. B. Lewis. Um, it's going to be awesome just being and having the full download of what this is. And then obviously uh, we did uh, our team in Austin did a walk through the entire conference. If you guys are coming, you're a speaker watching this. The vendor place is, is lit. We have plenty of space for everyone. We have plenty of space for the dance floor. And um, uh, Mr. Palm, if you watch this, they said we can't bring our fog machines. <laughs> Maybe we can put them outside during the eclipse and just let them rip. I don't know. They're like, no fog machines. Laser lights are cool. So that's cool. What up, bro, to all my family? Yeah, so I just want you guys to know it, it's a lot um, that you guys are really getting for, to come. And it's really you know a benefit for... 
It's like build it and they will come. Like I'm making this the most casual thing that is a party, a consciousness party for you guys while you guys show up, hang out with your families and really just, I can't make it any more simple. Like, you know, everyone that's showing up upstairs, what is going on? It's really literally like, you know, it's like imagine our angelic squad or the our galactic squad is going, hey, is so-and-so present? And you're like, here, it's like going to school. It's like, are you showing up? So I just want not to put any pressure on you guys, but that's what's going on upstairs. I think I should at least let you know what this really is. We will be discussing, Miss Coy will be there as well. She has a booth. Um, she'll be talking about her Cities of Light projects. She does all the interior decorating for huge projects that are going on right now. Um, so, you know, not to mention my boy, Russell, hopefully, you know, we'll see. My boy, I gotta talk to my boy. He's a busy boy, but hopefully we'll see. He's definitely invited. This is really a family gathering and I just want to make this as casual and awesome as possible for everyone. That's all this is. I just want to be real. You know, um, what up? Now, what else is going on? We're going to talk about the downloads. Okay, so this is what's been cracking. Let's talk about it for a second. My bro, Tone Malad's in the house. You know? I moved the music behind me, so it might be, I don't, you guys gotta make sure it doesn't get too loud. All right, it's a, it's a loud situation. But let's talk about what's been going on. Um, and you guys kind of, there's different settings on YouTube where I can actually place like, um, what do you guys like? Do you guys like the cards in the beginning? Do you guys, a lot of people that come and watch, you know, that is it just card time for you if you're new? Here's the thing, help me. You know, if you're like, hey, do the cards in the beginning, you know, jokes last or what have you. It's totally up to you guys, you know. Um, now, for all you guys that are like, oh, I want to get a ticket, but I don't know. Listen, once you get your ticket, there's a Telegram group. There is my brother, Drew. There are a lot of people that are helping out with picking Ryan, picking people up from the airport, getting them to the location. There are still Airbnbs involved. It's more of a team effort. And that's what we're doing. Team Light is literally a team effort. So I just wanna be real with you. There are support and things to get you out there and to assist. Obviously, if it's not in your financial budget, hey, I totally get that. As far as the fear that's going on around this, do not listen to it. It's all bullshit. Yeah, there may be some things. This this entire event, to be completely clear, is 100,000% protected on all sides. We already have a team coming in to grid it you know, before we even get there. And this whole thing has been lied, lined up by the upper echelon uh, that actually oversee and run this planet and this part in the solar system. I, I can't tell you the, I just want to be real. The rest of this fear stuff, it's a distortion of a bunch of beings that don't know what's going to happen. We do know, and our guides are saying, show up, be on time. That's it. Okay. If you guys are concerned about the travel and stuff, get there a day early, just like you would do for any other proper event. I just want to be real. You know, um, tone, Intel channel cards. Okay. I got it. All right. So let's talk about the dream time and why you guys have been feeling really lethargic lately. The past two weeks for me, it's been very lethargic in the sense of I get up early. The seasons are changing, but this is what it feels like. I feel like there is a bandwidth of weight, maybe weighs about 22 to 25 pounds that is laying on top of my body when I move around in the physical vessel right now. Okay. Here's why. Basically, as the planetary grid is shifting up,
Yo, am I back? <laughs> well, we uh, reset the internet. Can you guys hear me okay? Uh, whole power went out on, I don't know, five blocks and uh, went and talked to the neighbors. I was wondering if we should redo this stream. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should we redo it? Are you guys here? Yo, welcome back. Oh, here you are. All right, let me get my music back on. Listen, everything's fine. Okay. Okay. Huh? Fantastic. <laughs> I didn't tell you guys, but like, you know, we had a ship come by last night. Uh, this is all temporary. I love you. No, I'm just kidding. There we go. Woo woo. We're back. We're back. All right. One thing leads to another. Okay. Calm down. We're doing gods. All right. My brother Jason, hopefully he's still here with us. All right. So we are back. All right. So keep this stream going. Keep it rolling. Okay. That was hilarious. I was like, the bandwidths are shifting. Boom. The whole power went out in the whole three blocks. You know, probably more than that. But I am back. Your fearless commander has returned. All right, so that being said, I don't know. Should we redo it? Now I kind of feel like I'm going to watch it and be like, what is this? It's just frozen. I don't know. I don't know. You look cool and great. Back to normal. And go. All right, we lost the intel. Okay, so check it. As the frequency goes up, so here's planet Earth, here's 3D or 4D, wherever in. As the frequency is coming up, while you're feeling lethargic, okay? But you have to also realize the bottom floor of the dimension above us is coming lower and lower and lower and lower. So what's happening is I'm pushing into the basement floor of say 4D or 5D, let's just say, but I can feel the compression because my body, my suit has to shift into the higher frequency. My spirit and my soul already there been there for quite some time but my suit feels like i'm wearing a 25 pound backpack of weight that's what it feels like okay um that's what it is obviously and also the solar flares okay and the solar flares all right so let me just text my boy jay he's all concerned i'm like yo get on all right get on okay here we go so solar flares are real okay i don't know Look, things are happening. All right, you guys having fun? All right, so here we go. Nah, it's authentic. Hey, look, power's out, power's back. How is that transition? The power was out, no, the power's back. All right, we're back on. All right, here we go. What else is rad? Okay, so this is how I got through it, though. A couple of the days while, while every, while everyone's feeling lethargic, I don't take naps. It's really hard for my guides to trank me. Right? It's very difficult for me to go to bed. I, it's almost impossible, right? And what I noticed was I'm dreaming with you guys on the other side of the planet. So when I go to bed, or I take a nap at like two or three o'clock. Whenever time zone I'm in, I'm assisting people on the other side of the planet. They're like, shut the suit off. We need you over here. So you guys may be also feeling lethargic because you guys are burning the candle on both ends and you're actually assisting your family on the opposite side of the world. You know? How's your 401k? I'm like, I'm throwing lightning bolts at jackasses. Like, I, I don't know. We're pretending every day. Okay. So um, what else is going on? So I'll say this nicely. There's um, some battles going on amongst the 13 families, the bloodlines. Um, this is what it really is. 70% uh, of them want this neutral, tranquil level up. 30% of them are the, you know, the real naughty ones and they're having a really hard time. So in the upper dimensions, we're battling these dudes and I'm assisting as a referee to make sure that, well, you know, when, cause basically these families are going at it, right? I'm not from here. I'm sitting on the battlefield and when certain ones get away, I go and fetch them. Let's just say like I did, you know, two days ago. But I'm not really getting involved with the diplomacy or the negotiations or whatever they got going on in their thing. I'm not. 
not getting involved, but I am assisting in the graceful transition of the entire planet into a place of peace and prosperity. So it's almost like I'm sitting there and they yell at me. They're like, why don't, you know, choose a side. You know, I get this a lot. You know, why aren't you our friend? And aren't you, here's the deal. Peace, prosperity, sovereignty, period. If you're not about that, I just, you know, I, I, I can't help you. Like my ordinances are coming down from way above this platform. And when our elders and our oversouls want the planet to shift, the planet's going to shift. When our sun turns on these, you know, amousing new energies from our central sun, I'm sorry, but the planet has to shift. There's no, we're going to come up from downstairs and take our rightful place as the lollipop cans, the lollipop kids. I don't know. Just to be clear, we are going to control them. I'm like, no, you're not. The Black League incarnated, the lollipop kids. Like, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm not trying to do a shock and awe campaign. I'm telling you that there is nothing on this earth that is an issue because the negotiations upstairs are taking place. Imagine both sides of polarity are going like this. Their lower selves, right? Not the upper dimensions are like, but what about me and my castles and my Babylonian money magic and all my hard work and wah, 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 wah. That cannot remain. So I'm trying to say that even these different species that are beefing over the surface, listen to me. Their upper dimensional selves have already signed the agreement. The lower selves, right? I'm talking about this could be eighth dimensional, sixth dimensional, fourth dimensional. They're shifting. Okay. Um, Anunnaki and that Orion story. Like, let's just do this. And my, if you guys want to download my PDF chart, right? Um, that's free at uh, teamlightstore.com forward slash events. The, um, the multidimensional template when I woke up and I saw the rings and I saw my homies staring at me with those facial expressions, eighth dimension Anunnaki right hand side, night side. Okay. I'm going to tell you, give you a little taster of my presentation. 10th dimensional right hand side dragon land. Do you know why this makes complete sense? Because on the left side, ninth dimensional side on the left side, okay. Night side, right side, left side, light side. I know it might be opposite on this camera for you. Lyran's the bottom floor is 9D. So if you think about it from a platform, Anunnaki, 8D, Lyran, 9D, Dragon, 10D, okay? What I'm getting to, these two made a hybrid 8D Anunnaki. Now, there is an ascension going on within those ranks. That means the 8D Anunnaki, mine is shifting into 10D, okay? There is ascensions going on around you all over the place, but you may not be feeling it in the physical, okay? So I'm just trying to give you a little heads up on that. It's it's not per se what you think, okay? All right. All right, so my boy J-Dog, if you can hear me, baby. I don't, I don't know. You're gonna, well, I'm moving on. Get on. Okay. So that's what's up with that. Okay, so let's get some questions here. Let's hang out, and we're, we're going to pull cards. Yeah, so that's what's up. So the reason why, you know, I can speak Anunnaki, I mean, not only speak it, I could like talk trash to other beings in whatever language this is. But remember when I first woke up, I spoke three different languages. One was Palladian, one was Syrian and Egyptian. Then I learned a little Anunnaki and then the, the, my elder language is more of a dragon language. I don't speak it normally because I only do it during activations. Why? Because when you speak certain tones or vibrations or, or basically what happens is when you speak certain words, all of your energy, like everything's energy, right? The hologram changes and all of a sudden all the beings around me go, that's not Rion, right? In that suit, that's his higher self looking at you in this dimension, speaking directly to your face. So it's different. You become a transceiver, okay, of your upper dimensional self. So certain words I'll say, certain things I'll do. But for you guys, as you're practicing your star language, remember the higher octaves are going to be where you're at. Careful with the womb, the low ones, because, you know, it's like, ah, stay in the angelic realm. Careful with the, the low tone. Okay, that's all I'm trying to say. Uh, okay, here we go. 
Way harder to get my ass in the gym workout. It's been heavy. So check this out. I had to do the same thing, my brother Jeremy. I had to force myself go to the gym. Now, this is funny. I forced myself to go to the gym two days ago. Yesterday was a rest day. And funny enough, the entire time I was in the gym on the elliptical, I was out, I was OBE the whole time. I just had sunglasses on, a hat, headphones. I was completely not in my body, but it was weird. I felt like what would almost be like operating an avatar in a world. I felt like I was operating my suit on the elliptical machine. I'm 30 feet in the air and I was watching myself on the elliptical machine. Like I was just like, da, 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 da. what does this mean? I'm saying the bifurcation of our frequency is happening right now in real time. What I am trying to explain to you is that my suit is the issue, not my spirit nor my soul. The suit needs time and it feels heavy when you're wearing it. Especially imagine we're being dragged through a grater going vertical, right? Cream rises to the top. All these little lower dimensional things have to pop and purge off of you. I'm sorry, but the stuff when we were little and the bloodline stuff and your decisions or emotions, experiences, that's fantastic. You can't take that upstairs in instant manifestation because what will happen is if you don't clear your space down here in your consciousness, what happens is if you take a person that's unprocessed upstairs, their nightmares become everyone else's realities. All their unprocessed fear, bullshit, whatever, they try to take it upstairs. You can't take that consciousness upstairs. We've said this many, many times. You will never get your power back. Never. Unless you are a balanced being. There are Anunnaki right now on the night side and on the lower side that are still not Christed. They're not. They're hybrids just like us. And I'm not trying to get on this Anunnaki thing because it's personal for me when I talk about it. It's not like I'm talking about a third party character or I'm interviewing someone in a different spacecraft. No, this is fucking personal. I remember shit. I remember why I'm still pissed off at jackasses on Nibiru. I remember the senator's name I'm pissed off at, okay? It's personal. It's not a story, okay? So what I'm getting to with being one of us, an actual elder in a flesh suit that's 40 years old, listen, you may be just like me. What I'm trying to express is you can't let that past or what happened in the past mess your frequency up now. That's all I'm trying to say. So there are some of us that aren't really a part of this program. However, we have this DNA in the suit. So our Christ energy is processing the suit, the blood, the DNA of this suit and what it's gone through. So remember, don't get it twisted. Your spirit, your energy is divine. Love you. Beautiful. We are wearing a flesh suit that was made by different species and we're walking around together and we're calling this human. Okay. That's all I'm trying to say. All right, let's just calm down. You guys having fun? Let's just calm down. Balance. So I'm, I'm, I get a little, I want to get, you know, I at least want to show you guys that, hey, I'll say it out loud. I know what it is. I'm the one dealing with a lot of these jackasses running around. I'm just telling you that you can't be Christed if you try to control someone else. You're supposed to work for the all. You're supposed to realize what uni the unified field is. You can't take a teenager into that place. You could be a species that's been around 5 million more years than us in this little artificial suit. But until you learn that lesson, you'll never be a Christed being. You'll never grow up. You'll stay in the reincarnation wheel. And as we, as we glance at you doing donuts for 100,000 years, you shall remain in that space because you cannot be taken upstairs because you're a liability to the entire universe. There it is. So for all the elders on all planets watching me in my face, you're a liability to every other sentient being in the universe if you can't balance yourself. Period. Drop mic. There is no way around it. There's no contract you can sign. There's no gray area. You're dealing with beings monitoring you that are outside time that blink in 10,000 years go by. They, they don't want to hear your story. They don't really care what you've done. We've never even matched what we had 2 million years ago on this planet ever. So what I'm getting to is that's what we're leaning against. So we're feeling this on our shoulders and we don't know why we're feeling it. It's because, yeah, a lot of processing is taking place on this planet, not just what's going on in the physical. Okay, that's all I'd like to say. You know? Let's calm down. Oh, 
Alright, what else is going on? Let me call this guy. California. Oh, let me see. Here, let me do this again. Invite. Copy. We'll do it one more time for J-Dog. He's a little special. If you guys have any any questions, put, put them up. Moving on, let's do some cards. Thank you, bro. I just want, I'm gonna explain to you. Like, you know, we're, some of us aren't confused at all. But like I said, balance is the key. Because what happens is if that one aspect gets behind the wheel, let's just say your night side Anunnaki, which is way more evolved consciously than this version, right? Check this out. What happens is you lose your sovereignty. You don't know when they're behind the wheel or you're behind the wheel. Now, mind you, there are, Many other species that are far less balanced than Anunnaki, for the most part, are doing their best. They realize what's going on. The issue is that I started asking questions like this. I was watching that Astro Legends thing, and you know, Queen Tiamat. This is this is the shit. This is what I'm getting to. In that story, they said that Tiamat blew up. The core of Tiamat is Earth. I mean, from that perspective like what was left over and actually reassembled that's why earth's core is way denser than it should be right that's why the magnetism here is crazy that's why spacecraft come down here the magnetic fields are nuts on this planet but you know i thought to myself well in the marriage between the lyrans and the dragon they came together the lyrans gave tiamat to the queen for whatever happened the kids got crazy planet blew up leftovers was earth right? The core of the planet based upon this story, mind you, I'm just, I'm just doing logical analytical deductions here. Well, wouldn't that, if that was ruled by Tiamat, queen of the dragons, wouldn't the core of that planet still be ruled by the dragons? And I think that's the main issue with this planet that no one wants to, you know, bite that chunk of, of cheese, you know, no one wants to eat that, that cheese. They're like, well, you know, if, if you give someone a planet and it blows up and the core of it, is still around. Isn't that still property of said species? So, however, they told me that the Lyrans gifted that to her and they're also a part of this combination. Mind you, all the other things. Because unraveling this within ourselves, that's why it feels weird when I talk about it because inside your body, there's some like, wait, like, you're not supposed to know that. And how are you supposed to process this? And it's still uncertain on how we view this place. There's still uncertainty about this planet and who rules it and who governs it. Okay. You can bring the galactic fed in here to balance the entire thing out. Fantastic about time. But what I'm trying to say is that we have higher selves that are jacked into these suits that are sitting in different time zones, times throughout the multiverse that in their reality, these guys haven't even shown up yet. So imagine what that feels like. You have an aspect in yourself sitting 60,000 years in the past, jacked into my heart, not in the present moment. And these guys are saying we cleaned everything up now while they're still going, well, we own this planet. What do you mean? What are you talking about? This is the weird multiverse quantum entanglement I speak of. Okay. This is one I think I'd share that. I'm processing that shit right now. So I want to know who's who, because here's the thing. Once you know who's in charge, you can pull rank. You're like, you're, you know, I mean, imagine talking to these 13 blood families. And you're like, to be absolutely clear, your dad was born in the Garden of Eden. He's not actually a royal. So you have no domain in this place. That's what I'm talking about. A lot of these things are diluted wine. So I just want to be real with you because once you guys realize the history, that's why they hid the history and who we really are in the Vatican archives. Because once you start realizing the family's names and you're like, oh, bro, you were a janitor that picked up bananas outside the Garden of Eden. How are you one of the 13 families? I'm confused. You guys ever seen the movie uh, Lord of the Rings? Return of the King? When the steward tries to take over the city of Gondor because there's no king there. And then when Aragorn shows back up, the steward freaks out and goes, I don't want to give up my power. 
Until eventually he has to light himself on fire and throw him off a cliff. Remember that? Tries to burn his own son. Well, we are the return of the kings and queens to this place. And there's been a bunch of stewards down here doing weird shit for quite some time. So I think I'd make it just crystal clear on who and what we really are. That's all I wanted to say about that. Let's pull some cards. All right, card time. Cards. Boom, boom. Yeah. I love you guys. Cheryl, love you. Service to all, baby. Be balanced. Got ancient wedding vibes for a moment there. See, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm t I'm, we're punk because here's the thing. We're all feeling it together. Like, what is this weight? Why am I remembering things? Why am I doing things? It has nothing to do with the physical. Why am I in the future or the past balancing things? Many of us are juggling multiple timelines and our suits are getting tired and lethargic. And they just say, hey, go to bed. Like, this isn't for your little 3D baby brain. This isn't for your little suit. This is like a spiritual soul over soul adjustment of which you are one of 25 fractals in the game. You can't take the whole neural load on yourself. I hope that helps. Oh my God. All right. I love it. I love it. It was a quick show you wanted to find product dental energy dealing with a lot of gunk. Uh, you guys just ground, uh, buy uh, a decent uh, filter for your shower. So you guys aren't like, you know, showering with tap water with a bunch of the different things on it. Uh, just clear, clear, clear. I'm just trying to, I'm giving you guys a heads up. What you're processing has nothing to do with the physical plane of existence. They want you to pretend and your higher selves want to pretend that it's you. It's not. It's all of their rhetoric on top of what your daily routine is. Because everyone's trying to like get their homework assignments in before the great flash. So you have aspects finishing those reports and doing the negotiations and all this is going on around you. And you're just sitting down here going, why can't I move? I'm stuck on the couch. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 20,000 years. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. 20,000 years to get it done. I guess, uh, you know, some of us are still born. Uh, what is it? We don't want to do the work. We wait till the last minute. All right, let's get some uh, cards. Do it. But before that, do you guys, um, all right, let's do, oh, well, you know what? Let's do this. Um, let me bring my buddy in here for a second, Mr. Styles, the owner of Eye Pyramids. He just wanted to say hello and to uh, share some of his insights. Mr. Styles, are you ready? Whoa, is it on? You're on, bro. What's up, family across the world? Hey, hey. Mic check one two three. You got me. I got you. I'm here. No, I, I was just turning down my thing so we don't get that echo. Let me guys. Let me know if you guys hear that echo. But Mr. Styles, you want to talk about bass drop and what's going on? Sorry about the pause earlier. I uh, I don't know. The power went out. So yeah, I'm I've back. Been having weird Wi-Fi problems here too. So my Wi-Fi router is at the other end of the compound, and I'm I don't even know if this is gonna hold. So let's get it. Let's get it on. So uh, Bass Drop, Texas, April 7th and 8th. We're having a party, right? Yes, sir. All right, all right. So if you're in the vicinity, come on out. We're going to be catering. We got lunch Sunday, Monday. We got DJ Sunday, Monday night. Leo King. And uh, we have sound baths, bowls. Raffle prizes going off. I Pyramids is throwing in some gifts. It's going to be a huge party. I can't wait. We're going to be um, driving in Thursday across the country from Arizona. So come on out. We're we're going to be live starting. What time does it start? Sunday. I believe Sunday. It starts at um, doors open at ten thirty. And we go till probably 1130 at night on Sunday. Uh, all the speakers go. And then we have, um, I think the speakers start right at like 11, 1030, 11. You know, get in there, get checked in. But 11 a.m. to uh, the speakers end around 830 at night. We have also a lunch break um, in the middle of the day. And then obviously, uh, you know, time to go shopping with all the uh, different vendors and speakers and stuff. 
But um, the schedule is actually located, not only if you guys buy a ticket, it's in that PDF, but it's also located on uh, teamlightstore.com forward slash events. It's on the events page. So, no, it's going to be a blast. I just wanted, you know, are we going to do a competition between me and you? Who gives away the most stuff at the raffle? Always. We always do. You know, I always win, by the way. No, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, those those little Tauruses are cute, but you know, I like the larger objects. Like, how about one of those big ones behind you? Are you going to give away one of those? Maybe. I don't know. What do you got? Do we want to talk about those for a second? A little eye torses? Well, well, we got four different sizes of eye torses. We got the pendant around your neck. It's very sustainable. 36 different flavors. It's like Baskin Robbins over here. This is the Aqua Aura. With gold. Mm. These back here, these power into the iTaurus app. So you just download the iTaurus app, play whatever frequency you desire to create the mood, the altered state that you want to be in. Um, the bigger the coil, obviously, the bigger the field, the stronger the results. Uh, check out iPyramids.com for the different options there. And then we're going to have a booth there. For live demonstrations, you can come in, get your hands on it, you can feel it, step inside the pyramid chamber, and activate your chakras. We'll do like a chakra sweep while you're in there. Beautiful. So, uh, I was going to say, what are some of the things you want to talk a little bit briefly about some of the things you may be talking about? I know you like to do the supernatural stuff. You want to talk about, give them a little heads up on specifically what you're going to share in your presentation. Uh, you know, it's looking like I'm going to share, you know, as things get closer, things start to come into my field, but, um, I like to talk about how awesome we are and how much potential we have once we let go of these limited beliefs. And I like to touch in some of the protocols that I went through to, start deprogramming and getting rid of some of these limited beliefs. So <clears throat> yeah, we're all really awesome, awesome beings here. We're creator, creators of our own realities. And we just got to get out of our own way to create the most abundant reality that we want. That's what I'm talking about. I, I didn't, uh, I got to turn off the echo. I'll make sure we're not echoing. So that being said, let's think about this for a second. Hmm. Can you explain to them some of the things that you have to do on a daily regiment? Because obviously, me and you have gone on missions together around the planet. You know, right before we go on a mission, how they turn up the fear, even or make things difficult. I mean, why don't we talk about the last time we went on a trip with Tone and we had to change flights mid mid flight at the airport? People need to know when there's really big things that you're supposed to show up for that it is usually difficult. And here's the issue: that's the norm. You know what I mean? Ex explain to them when we go on missions how. You know, things sometimes are really easy, but sometimes it's almost like the matrix is trying to stop you from showing up. Right. So it's, it's just, you know, in day to day life, even you have this purpose that you're trying to get to. You have a sole purpose. Um, and a lot of things that are limiting you from getting there are fear based beliefs. So um, and then also habits addictions, um, insecurities, all these behaviors that maybe you got programmed as a child. Um, a lot of those things got to be processed out of your system. So you might see some events happening in dream time. Like the other day I woke up and it was like a nightmare. It's like, oh my God, that's my worst fear. Okay. I'm processing that out of my system. So in meditation, um, you want to like focus on your highest outcome. Your when you tap into the quantum field, you want to visualize what it would be like to be your future self. What do you want to be doing? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Um, and then get to a point where you can actually feel that reality in the quantum field. And then when you, when you come out of meditation, it's almost like you were there. 
and you keep going back to that place in meditation or visualization before bed, and then it starts to become a reality. You can walk around with that frequency and you start to trick the mind to think that it's really happening because the mind is the most powerful thing on earth, the human consciousness, more powerful than anything. If we tap into it and use it constructively, a lot of times we're manifesting the wrong reality, we're constantly manifesting, right? But what is it that you're manifesting? So whatever you have in your, whatever situation you have in your life, you manifested it. The trick is to focus on what you really want to manifest. Okay. So the fear, get rid of the fear, start paying attention. And in meditation, in your day-to-day -day walk, just become an observer of your consciousness and then start observing what belief systems you are subscribing to and do those serve you and then start to slowly get rid of those, dissolve them. And a lot of, a lot of things that are happening right now around the world, the collective consciousness is going through a huge distortion breakup. So systems are collapsing, old programs that no longer service are being replaced. So you're going to see countries fighting. You're going to see, um, people breaking up individuals, um, you know, be prepared. These are good things. Look at, um, you know, if you lose your job, this is an opportunity for your next sole purpose to come in alignment. So a lot of things that are slowing us down that aren't in alignment are being forced out of our field through different events in our life. So get ready for it. It's a good thing. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Well, I just wanted to bring you on. I mean, we're, we're about to do cards. I, I noticed that people are like, give me the cards. So I'm going to get into the cards. But brother, was there anything else that you would like to share with the collective? Especially this, the next time they see you will be in person in Texas. Anything you wanted to share? Yeehaw. Yeah, let's go. I'm from Texas originally. So I'm going to bring my horse and carriage. Coming in live, coming in hot. Um, I can't wait to see you guys out there. Uh, thanks for having me on, Ryan. And um, I'll see you later. Later, brother. All right. And we're back. All right. Sorry about that. We got the little echo thing figured out. My brother, Mr. Styles, ladies and gentlemen. No, you know, the thing is that this whole thing is huge. And I know it's bigger than us. And some of the things that we talk about, yeah, I mean, mastering your mind, you know, mastering your body, then obviously at some point mastering your mind, you know, the mind is something that is really powerful, especially when you start to bridge different dimensions in the multiverse or different realities with your own frequency and vibration and start to participate in higher dimensional frequencies and meetings or realities. The issue being that once you're in that place, it's almost like you're one of those gurus that sit in the base of the mountain in the Himalayas like in India who park their body and their astral body jumps out of their suit and they go run into the mountain and have a great experience. What I'm trying to say is that some of us are learning to do that while we're still operating in the 3D. Many of us can't stop our daily grind and our daily reality. Well, who's stronger? Ask yourself, the person that can do these things while still maintaining a roof over your head, food in your belly, taking care of the kids, handling your stuff, and then getting all your studies in while you're in dream time at night. It's more difficult, believe me. It's way easier to do this stuff at 15,000 feet in the Himalayas. I'm sorry. It's way more difficult to do this stuff in a 5G, 6G environment with all this weird stuff in our food. And I'm here to just want to tip my hat off to everyone out there across the earth that's waking up and awakening or those who have been awake for quite some time. It's a great privilege to be here with you guys. And I just want you to know the, how difficult it is and all the weirdness and stuff that we've gone through together. But I am here to tell you to keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the light. Keep your eye on your own personal goal.
All right, I'm back. <laughs> Power went out again. Okay, let's do the cards. This is insane. Are, are we, this is the craziest stream ever. All right, are we back? Can you guys hear me? Goodness gracious, let's just do the cards. I was stunned. All right. Can I get uh, my phone out so I get my music going here? Yeah. All right, I was stunned. All right, you guys all back? All right, listen, I don't know what's going on. The power's off, the power's on. They're, they're emailing us, like, we're sorry. I'm like, sure, sure. Like, the whole planet, this is a good, this is a good reference for the whole planet Earth. Listen, there's craziness going on with our electrical system. This is just, I've never in broadcasting for 10 years had the power go out twice in the same day. Okay, let's get some music. Let's get to the cards. So this is the reward for all you guys that hung in there, huh? This is your reward. Music and cards. Hey, listen. Look, it's like a, look, 144. Should have been 139. Let's get back to 144. You know, just a little wham in the background. All right. Cards. Let's get it. I know my vibe is too high. You know, it's shenanigans. Listen, I start pulling rank and they're like, no, sir. No. I'm like, I'm like, listen. We're like Galactic Command. I'm like, oh yeah. Like that Christed being from Sirius, just like, calm down. Just, woom, 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 woom. Who is your father? You know, you know, you're just like, your mother, what are you doing? All right, we're going back. Look, we're back, we're back. It's a little wham. Wham, we're back. All right, here we go. I don't know how they're going to block this in other countries. They're like, what is happening? I pay for the best internet in Sedona that's offered, just so we're clear. All right, um, let's go right into card time. I love you. Just fire. Look, you guys, you guys you see? Oh, all right, we're, we're here. Fire. Here we go. Whoop, there it is. All right, here we go. We're back. We're back. Calmness. Okay, we're going to hang that up. We're back. All right, here we go. Oh, and music. Everyone's trying to call me. Everyone. You know what? Oh, we're going back. We're going back to this. I need it again. Okay. Can't stop Team Light. No, listen. They try. You can't stop. The guys, listen. I wish you guys could see what we get in the astral until, and then the difference of what happens when we actually get off an airplane. It's completely different. It's like everyone's real tough at a distance. I'm in the airplane smashing on you as I'm landing in your country. Crickets. Just, huh? oh, sir, we did not know. We. It's like right out of like, I don't know. It's like right out of uh, Star Wars. You know, like when, you know, when you're dealing with the bankers, you know, like they act a certain way when you're not around. But when you're there, they're like, oh, the Jedi. Oh, we did not know. Come on in. It's like, yeah, we're Jedi. Move out of the way. You know, we're here to actually investigate you. You know, moving on. Let's have some fun. Cards. We appreciate you. Most people would have given up. Let's do, let's do, um, okay. Cards. We're just doing cards. We went through the whole rigmarole. Everyone wants the cards. You know what I mean? Everyone wants the cards. The Jedi, yeah. They're like, oh, he's here? Oh, no, his whole squad's here. They're actually at your front door. They'd like to speak to you directly, actually. They don't want any of your peons. They want you. Yeah. A little different. I got some new cards. We're going to try them out. Tell me. Won't you tell me. Okay. Calm down. I don't know if the power is going to go out again. So I'm trying to say, let, let's speed this up. You know what I mean? Banners. Card tag. Mr. Styles, thank you so much for being here. He's back. You can say bye. Mr. Styles, I will be doing... You can hear me. I'm doing cards. You're looking sexy over there. Listen, I listen. I gotta get the cards done, but I will stare at you. Listen, here he is, home. Yo, I'm just I'm doing cards. I love you. Uh, yeah, I just popped out. I gotta do some studio. Work, Hold on. So you, you can cancel. I love you. Here. The audio is all. Hey, Namaste. No, card time. I love okay. you. All right, let's let's hear it. If you want me to. All right, card time. Okay. 
I got a new deck. It's called Dragon Riders. So I think it's appropriate for us fellow Dragon Riders. By uh, It's brand new. By Christine Arana Fader. But I saw this and I'm like, Dragon Riders? Let's see. Let's check it out. Dragons. I don't know. Be nice to have a little more protection from the dragons. You know what I mean? Oh, yes, we know. You got me down here in negotiator robes. You know? Dragon Riders. All right. You want to pick it? Come on. Something for all my fellow dragon riders. Serdi Win and Baldun, see the wonders around you and honor this incarnation. The here and now is the stage on which you will encounter and learn to love yourself. So be appreciative of this incarnation, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's been difficult and I know it's been tough, but think how much you, how much you guys have learned and how much you have changed. Okay. Dragon Riders. I saw the card. Tone. Tone. Listen. Tone. I'm back there. I saw the cards decks and I was like, it was like three in the morning. I like woke up per usual. I'm like, what am I missing? I'm like, dragon riders. You know. There's nothing awesome, more awesome than a dragon rider. I, I don't know, you know. A unicorn rider? I don't know. By the way, <laughs> I did get a new unicorn deck. So we're going to, for all my unicorn riders out there, get ready. Thought you guys would be excited about that. Dragons. Oh, they're switching it up. Sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Now listen, don't get crazy. Eventually, I'd like you to like hand me the deed to what is ours. You know what I mean? That's what I'm really... This is, I'm like Johnny Cochran down here pretending every day. You know what I mean? I'm coming for the whole kingdom. Just let you know. All right, here, Dragon Rider, pick it. I don't change. They're like, you never change. Why change if you're awesome from the get-go? I mean, you ever ask yourself that? No. King of Aragon has returned. You know what I mean? All right, for my fellow kings and queens out there, check this one out. Confucius and Zing Fu. You have come a long way to the path of mastery. Learn now from your own soul. Where the light of ancient knowledge shines, you are ready to receive everything. Oh my God, if that is not, hey, let's go, Bastrop. Let's go, Texas. Let's go. Bring it. Bring on that solar activation. I love Confucius. You know what I mean? It is time. All right. You know? I like it. I need a little more fire. Okay. I'm just going to go big. Dance party, Bastrop. Lights come down. Mr. Palmer is DJing. Fog machines go off, even though we're not supposed to have them. Fire alarms hit. You know? Light ships coming down. Just vortexes and tornadoes of energy. You know what I mean? Just grabbing that, that devil comet by the horns. You know what I mean? Just wrestling it to the ground. You know? I don't know if you guys saw pictures of that thing with a spiral on it. If I haven't never... Like a comet with a spiral in the center of it. I'm like, um, that's not a comet. Moving along. That's like consciousness coming in hot. You guys ever seen a comet? You guys seen the pictures of it? I'll put it on this post. Yeah. All right. Magic of the uni the magic of unicorns. All right. So this is for my mat. Hey. All right. Come on. Okay. You have to choose though officially. Here's the choice. Listen. This is for the whole world. For everyone's higher self. Listen. Which ones are Pegasus and which ones are the hot Tigetans? Hot. So which one does Pegasus want permanently and which one do you want the Tigetans and Palladians to be? Choose. You want this one to be Tigetan Pleiades? This one's Pegasus. All right. Check it. This one is for the Palladians, Tigetans, Engans, everyone from the Seven Sisters. Right here. Boom. This one is going to be Pegasus. All my homies from Pegasus. All right. We are pulling our little hot Palladian card right now. All right. Here we go. I thought, I knew that's why I bought it, you know? All right. For all my hot white jumpsuits out there, 
Could be male and female in your tight little jumpsuits. This is for your reading. Here we go. Come on. All right. Everyone likes, likes a tight white jumpsuit. You know what I mean? All right, all right. I know, we need an Andromeda deck. Somebody out there find me the, the right Andromeda deck. We do need, Andromedans need their own deck. All right, come on. One, two. First card is create your vision. Do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward for this week for all my fellow Palladians. Listen, create your vision. Create your vision. All right? Create that vision. Okay? We know that. Andromedans bring the power. Those are the ones that got our back in Vegas, baby. I'll never forget that. Okay? And the second card for our Tigetans and Palladians is pure intention. Find clarity. Surrender your ego. Here we go. Surrender the ego, surrender the night side, pure intention, find clarity, surrender the ego. The ego is a lower life form control program, reptilian brain control program. Jacked into a bunch of created beings called the Archons, a bunch of kids that can't look themselves in the mirror because they get scared. But listen, there's something about the creation of some of these different beings to be used in certain ways. And I don't know. I don't really appreciate having to deal with things that are artificially given governance over spaces that were never shown love. If you're a species that's never known love... I feel, I honestly, in my heart, feel sad for you. I feel bad for you. Like, I don't, there's something there that is deeper and older in me. You know, a lot of these beings were created almost as an act of war to take over a certain space, place, time, plane of existence. And I'm here to say that It'd be a lot easier for the whoever created those beings, for those beings to take, you know, responsibility, or for those beings to go after their creators who never showed them what that was. So they had to be parasitic for all eternity. I'd be very upset with my creator, whoever I view as a creator, if I would never have the ability to love or evolve. So I think that parasitic behavior needs to end. Okay. It's for all my Aussies. Lady, she made me nervous. I want one more. Oh, no, I, I got to do Pegasus. And she said, now switch, switch down under with the underworld. Oh, sorry. I come from a limb down under. This is awkward. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we're off the rails. Let's go. Pegasus. All right. Pegasus is language. Magic. Straight magic. Pegasus. Magic. All right, magic. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? One more for Pegasus. Oh, my God. My eyes. My eyes. You better take cover. We're getting to the RV card. We're getting there and our frequency. I'll, I'll speed it up. I know it's been a long one. We've had some inter interruptions. Magic and then intensity. Intensity. So intense magic, ladies and gentlemen. Intensity and magic this week coming from Pegasus. A lot of magic coming in hot. You know? Hey, Russell Crowe. I'm the one that caught you in the astral. Nice to meet you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, Russell. 
come from the land up Linden. Some people are actors, some people are the real thing. Pretending to not be. I'm acting right now. All right, here we go. Beyond Lemuria, Beyond Lemuria. Many of you, many of you guys are actors too. Living in a land down under. <laughs> down under in dimension. And thunder, you know. Beyond Lemuria, let's get it. Some happy things. Mahalo me, mahalo you. All right. We go back to card time here. Magic coming in hot, intense magic, hot fire. My mom is from Brussels. I love it. Banners. Card time. I don't know, but we can have that discussion later. Anu showed up personally for me in Constantinople, Istanbul. Do you ever show up for you? No? Do you even know what he looks like? Huh? Do you? Maybe? Did you get a drawing in a, in a journal or a scroll somewhere? Did you look at it? No? Yeah. That was last year. So. Calm down. These guys are praying to beings that they haven't even seen before. All right. Next. She of the Lotus. I'm not sure what that is. That's for all my homies out there. Sorry. This conversation's going on. You know, trying to shut the power off on the whole, you know what I mean? Let's go. She of the Lotus. I do like Lost Boys, but not right now. Okay, not right now. She of the Lotus. All right. This is more my vibe. All right. Next one. Lemurians. It's not a competition. Or is it? No, I'm just kidding, because if it was, I'm smoking you. I mean, I'm just hot fire. You know what I mean? I don't know. Let's just say it's not a competition. All right. You guys like to compete so much. Lumen Essence. Boom, Lemuria. Lumen Essence. Then he flies. Salvation. All right. Now I'm, I'm you guys. I don't even know where I am right now. Are we in the same world? We're still here. All right. Awesome. Oh. As if to say, are you ready for ascension? You're just like, yes. Slippers and robes, please. You know? Can I just do slippers and robes and just, you know, just, just gains? You know? I don't like being down here, man. I like being with my family. I like being with you guys. I like hanging out with you guys. But other than that, I like nature. But. As far as this rat race or this weird matrix they built, like I, I, I'm not a huge fan. Let's get a RV card since we're on that topic. And then we'll get the frequency of the week and then one Lyran card and we're gonna wrap it before the power goes out again. All right, RV. I love you too, I just, you know, small doses, bro. I keep, you know, it's, it's weird. I'm already processing too much. I already know it. Deep inside, and I'm begun. Hey, you know. are you like Palladians monogamous, or is it more like a hey? I need some healing chambers. I need I need a lot of crystals and healing chambers. Okay, need a lot of massaging. Just let you know, My, this this suit. You know, put it put me on the record. All right. And uh, Pluto, Rebirth. All right, so that's a huge card. Watch Pluto. What's going on? Rebirth for the RV. For all my fellow astrologers out there, plug that in. 27, Pluto, Rebirth. Hey, Syrians, Andromedans, I love it. Lyran, you know? 
I'll scratch you behind your ear. We can do all kinds of things, all right? Now nah, they probably won't let me do that. I'm like, can I write? <laughs> Never mind. I'm like, can you, like, Liren's go on all four and you could, like, ride your Liren like a battle cat? I'm like, that would be insane. But I don't know. You probably don't want to be ridden. I get it. But I'm just trying to say I would much rather, if I had a steed, how about a 2,000 pound lion with, like, wings on it? I'm like, ah, I'll take that. If we could pick, like, any avatar, I'm like, I'll take the lion with the wings. And this and the snake tail, yeah, I'll take that one. I forget what they're called. Definitely ride that. Yeah. Dragons are cool too, but I have a feeling that those, the lions are very agile in the air. You know what I mean? I have a feeling they're like, mm. maybe not a snake tail. I'm just, I don't know. What are you gonna do? The Anunnaki made a bunch of weird shit down here. Yeah. Moving on. Twelfth house introspection. This is also, I know this is a huge card for the RV. It's a 12th house introspection. The high, it looks like a clock. Okay, and look at the dead center. Pluto is the rebirth. If you guys can punch in on those cards, I'll do one more because I know it's really important to people. A griffin? Yes, Gryffindor. Give me the hat. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin? No, Gryffindor. Gryffindor all day, baby. I got swords on the walls in my house right now. Axes, swords, all kinds of things. I get them as gifts for my my friend family. They like they send me swords. I'm like, that's awesome. All right, one more RV card. Come on, get it popping, get it popping. People got things to do on this glorious Saturday. I mum. Coeli, Root. That's almost like this dimension. The roots of this dimension are changing. 38, 12th house in Pluto. Rebirth. Rebirth of the roots. Is it resetting? Is what I'm saying. It sounds like, it's, it sounds like something's resetting right now. So this week coming up. Big aloha. Mahalo me. Mahalo you. Not Peter Griffin, but that's funny. Turtle surfing, baby. 12,000 Pisces. Energy, higher consciousness. Thank you. Yes. Pluto Rue Scorpio. He is death of, and transformation right now. Hey, these cards are right on. Like I said, I have a gift. I can pull the cards my higher selves would like me to pull. You guys fill in the blanks. We all have our own job. I will pull the correct card. You guys make your analogies. Let's do the frequency of the week. Coming in hot. And again, this deck is by Susan Walter. Okay. If you guys have any of my PEMF technology and my brother J-Dog at iPyramids, I believe you guys can still use the app on both of them and iTaurus app works. Or for me and my stuff with the PEMF stuff, I could just, you know, there's tone generators, 528 hertz you can download on your phone, but there's also uh, different frequencies on YouTube that you can download as well. Songs, whatever you want. I like that 528 hertz. And the frequency of the week is... Come on. This one? Of course it's the one. All right, what do we got? 261 hertz, universal, visualize a new reality. Well, here we go, you know. Your life is all you can imagine. You only need to remember how to accomplish it. Deep in the very core of your being, you already know all the answers. You need to remember, when these memories are integrated into your heart and soul, you will know how wonderful and powerful you really are and that you are on earth, earthly walk to fulfill a unique purpose. Remember your life for a new perspective and visualize healing effects in all aspects of your life. Whenever you are afraid of something ahead of you on your path, visualize the situation coming to completion with a positive outcome. Yes. Take the time to think about the things you truly desire 
Complaining manifests things to complain about. Create a new outcome by visualizing the best possible outcome for all. Boom. 261 hertz, universal. Visualize a new reality. All right. Once you guys go ahead and punch in where around the world you guys are still watching from. Oh, we're back up 208. All right. We were at 288, 208. We keep going. Listen, I don't know how we're going to edit this, but hopefully the power stays on. You know? All right. Let's do it. Go ahead and punch in where around the world you guys are watching from, and I shall shuffle the Lyran deck. All right. The Lyrans. Mm -hmm. Because. Ow! All right. Ha ha ha! Little sister, who's the only one? I heard my family out in South Africa and Japan. Yes, you guys are on my manifestation system of assisting. Just wait. We have things to do. But yes, I hear you. There are some places that need to be cleaned up. What wedding? What do we got? What do we got? You guys are blowing it up. Here we go. Whoa. Start again. All right. L.A., Vienna, Iowa, rural Chicago, Delaware, baby. Wyoming, Corpus Christi, Desert Territory, my brother. U.K., Austria, Niagara Falls, love you. Vegas, brother, Nevada, Philly. British Columbia, come on, come on. Cosmic Nirvana, it's just hot fire. Let's go, let's go. Sarasota, North Carolina, baby. Minnesota, Eugene, or Eugene, Oregon, Australia. Love the teacup. I love you too. Mount Shasta, love you. The roots, remember that. Starseed roots. Holland, Sedona, AZ, baby. Arizona, Wisconsin. Maui, it's on. See you in Bastrop, all right? Myrtle, from the heart. Portland, Oregon. America, America, Denmark. Kansas City, Waikiki, love it. Poland, y'all. Netherlands, Massachusetts. <sighs> go King Kong. Yeah, I am about to go King Kong after this. Like, baby, let's go. I mean, I'm sitting here. This wham. This headbutting jackasses. Let's go. New Brunswick, New Zealand. All right. France, Poland, Kauai, Kansas City, New Zealand. Oh, my God. Maui, Tucson, Minneapolis. You guys are on fire. Central Texas. Let's go. I hope to see you there, Dragon. All right. Central Texas. Love you, bro. Listen, I love you. All right. Let's get some. Lyrans. Let's get some Lyrans. I love it. It's a nice day for. Uh... All right, come on. I'm just keeping it 80s right now. Listen, we're trying to trying to stay on this thing here. All right, send me an angel as we pull Lyran cards. Come on, let's go. You know. Heaven above. All right. Yes, I'll channel a message. Synchronicity. Miracles let loose. Recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, synchronicity. Miracles let loose and recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, your higher self, see how hard you guys have been working. Let the universe provide for you. Miracles let loose and recognition. Each of my family members deserves their recognition for the hard work they have done. The arrows that, that we have, slings and arrows that we have overcome and experienced. And honestly, the glory to our creator of returning home. I want all my fellow friends, family members, fellow angelics and Christed beings. We shall return home victorious. Just remember that. These are all distortions of the matrix. Where we come from is the power of which all of this is set upon. All of these layers reside within our power if it wasn't for us none of this would exist so just remember that you wouldn't even have the ability to be good or bad you would not exist if it wasn't for the power of the one so, that i put that in perspective for you all right next card for us lyrans is P 
Peace. Slow down, recharge, and take a break. If the frequency is getting a little too crazy this week, hey, man, hang out. Just go to the gym, go in the forest, go to the beach, hang out with yourself, hang out with loved ones. All right? I love you. All right. Send me a Palladian. Send me a Syrian. Right now. Right now. All right. Send me an Andromedan. Send me a Lyrian. Right now. Oh, whoa. Right now. Maybe a dragon. I don't know. Maybe when it's dark. Hey. An Anunnaki. I'm like, nah, I like that. This dragon. I'm good, bro. Send me a dragon. I'm sorry. I'm about to make some seriously inappropriate jokes, and I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop before it goes right off the rails, okay? All right. I love you. Do we have fun? We made it. I don't know. We made it. We made it through this colossal tone. I love you. Look. Look. Truth. Where to, what tone put? Fire. Tone's probably dropping. There is this. There it is. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure being with you guys here today. Thanks for hanging in there. Sorry about the power going out. I just want you guys to know how loved you are and appreciated you are. Get your tickets to Bass Drop, ladies and gents. We're not doing one of these until 2044. This is the last opportunity. This is not like, oh, we'll do it again next year. No, we're not doing another solar event until 2044. So just remember that's 20 years. It's a long time. With that, ladies and gentlemen, just know that I love you very, very much. I appreciate you. Teamlightstore.com forward slash events. You guys, we made a bunch of new pyramids for you. We're doing it right now. We're bringing a ton of stuff, new gear. If you guys are interested, support at teamlight.com. and giving discounts to my family members. It's really important that all of us put our beacons up. And with that, ladies and gents, I love you very, very much. Until next time. All right. Peace.